This week on Life on Jupiter, Jamie gets another shot at a captain's certificate. We visit some of the most beautiful places in Antigua and enjoy the spectacular nature that it provides. Then, after sailing to the nearby island of Barbuda, we meet up with some of YouTube's sailing Hollywood stars. So, uh, sort of a big day, hopefully it's not too dramatic for us, um, doing the Antiguan Boatmaster qualification, which is only really useful for around the Caribbean, but it may be useful, and it's a commercial ticket, so um, you never know, maybe I'll get a job driving the boat somewhere. Um, since I can't do the RYA Yachtmaster anymore. Uh, well, here, because there's no examiners around. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go pick up Logan in about half an hour. And he's a pretty chilled dude that we are aware of. He seems pretty chilled. So hopefully it's a chilled half day exam. But it is blowing like stink again. It's 25 knots out there. Anyway, let's we'll see what he wants. Wish me luck, eh? Oh my god! Oh, I don't want this! Oh no! She gets nervous in the, <laughs> in the windy. <laughs> B, we need to reef. We are reefed. Oh. <laughs> it's too fast! <laughs> She's gone soft. Indian Ocean, we had 40 knots most of the time. Oh no. Oh. It's only 22 knots. Not only, it's 26. Although it was a boisterous day, this was my sort of exam. All the examiner wanted to see was that I could handle my own boat. Ready? And head around finally. It's been blowing a strong easterly for the last two or three weeks. Finally, the wind has stopped, and it's a good time to motor around or to the east side, where apparently it's really pretty. Clear water and lots of islands and bays. So let's go.
right away we're here in Green Island and it's very popular a lot of boats yesterday a lot of people in here snorkeling there's a lot of turtles too here so that's why maybe it's popular to people Oh, uh, is it a iguana? My bee! Uh, running away from you. Ray, I can be. It's so there. Come on. How can I go there? With your feet, just move one in front of the other. B. <laughs> Is it big? No, it's not big. Well, he's about this big. Treasure. <gasps> what? A tenner. <laughs> oh, Let's we keep need looking. to. <laughs> <laughs> we need to bring back that to the owner. <laughs> well, Green Island is nice. But yeah, in about half an hour it'll be full of tourists. But uh, yeah, nice beach here. Lots of turtles. But the water visibility is just not the same as we've seen further south. Um, it's always it's quite cloudy around here in Antigua. So we're going to stay in Antigua for probably another month. We are both booked in for the STCW95 course, which is basically uh, survival and seamanship stuff I don't know I can't remember was first aid it's firefighting survival techniques and something else I can't remember and then we'll actually have qualifications as seamen and maybe sometime in the future we might do charters on Jupiter so we're just looking into that now um, how much it'll cost to get the surveys and try and make it a little bit a little bit luxurious i guess we have to do that to compete with the charter market here unless we can find a niche sports sailor <laughs> but yeah it's not a bad place to be for a while So we're over on the east side of Antigua, on the windward side, and we've been looking for Stingray City, which on Google, it shows it sort of up a mangrovey sort of area. We went there yesterday afternoon, and it's a, you know, it's a, Google shows it as a, a location, because they have other things too, like um, other animals, like a little zoo. And we, we went anchored off there yesterday and looked at the water. It was just all mangroves and dirty water. And we went, this is not where they play with the stingrays. So we did notice a, a boat leaving going out. So we figured, ah, so from the photos, the stingray, where, the stingrays where they live must be out on the reef. So we searched hard on uh, Google Earth here, the satellite image, and we found some pontoons. And so we've come and anchored here now. We're going to go see if we can find some stingrays. But we're not going to swim with them, right? Well, yeah. So the tourist thing they do is swim with the, the stingrays and feed them and cuddle them. But, um, I don't know, they're wild animals. We don't have the trained personnel with us. I'm not going to swim with them. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, these things are just trained because they get fed every day. Maybe it's even twice a day they get fed. That's why they come and that's why they seem affectionate. But, for one, we don't have any food. So, mm. uh, maybe they will 
get a little angry. Uh, and two, I just don't see the risk. It's not worthwhile. You know, one of Australia's greatest animal welfare icons died from a stingray stab. So, uh, yeah. But the GoPro can go in the water. Let's go. So there's the pontoons over there. And that's where they're likely to be because that's where they get fed every day. That was a beautiful anchorage last night. It's just so protected behind the reef. There's a reef all the way along there. Wish we had some food to feed them. I don't want to. Could open up a can of tuna. Uh oh. Oh, maybe. <laughs> no, oh, the flakes would just go everywhere. So maybe. maybe sardines. Nah. Come Not on. only stingray will come, even some little fishes. Oh, yeah. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> wow. They look so gentle. We're nearly to Barbuda. What do we got? Two miles to go. Um, we only just started seeing the island. It's so low, so flat. We could actually see boat masts before we could see the island. And we did not catch any fish today. I'm gonna pull that in in a minute. And maybe you hear an engine running because we're making water. But sailing along nicely at eight or nine knots on a uh, almost close haul, shy reach. I'll show you Barbuda. Barbuda is 25 miles north of and governed by Antigua. It is sparsely populated, very flat, and ideal conditions for the kite surfers. It's a great spot to get away from the usual charter crowd, but we weren't the only ones to think this. It took us a little while to figure it out. We realized that we had some famous neighbors.
by the next morning, the wind had dropped and we were dying to get around to the southern bay at Spanish Point. Anchored in only two meters of water, this really was a spectacular place. <laughs> and of course, we could not wait to get into this swimming pool of a bay. The first job, as usual, was to go and check the anchor and make sure it was firmly set. It was a usual sight to see one of these guys loitering around our anchor chain sifting up the morsels that the chain had dug up. This really was the pick of the bays in Barbuda. And now that the wind had dropped, all sorts of riffraff started moving into the neighborhood. It became a routine. Every afternoon, people would meet on the beach for sundowners. This was life in Barbuda. <laughs> 